Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of a Samsung UHD 50 inch TV. I'll leave specifications in the description below. And this particular TV was from Amazon. And it was actually a used item from Amazon Warehouse, which was said to be in pristine condition. So I assume this item was bought, maybe the user didn't like it and they returned it. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. So the first thing we see is an accessory box and just dropped all those manuals and papers, but you don't need those anyways. So if you take a look at the box, we have our classic Samsung remote. If you have a Samsung TV already, you should be pretty familiar with this remote. This is just a regular power supply adapter. Um, every TV comes with it. Same one, probably have a bunch of these. This actually wasn't sure what it was at first, and it's actually an IR uh, adapter that plugs into the IR out port in your TV, which allows universal remotes. And we also have actually four pairs of 3D glasses. I thought it was great that Samsung included these because I don't think anyone really wants to buy separate 3D glasses for their TV. And um, they look okay. They don't look like they uh, suit people that wear glasses. So um, it might not be the best for you if you, if you do wear glasses. And obviously it comes with batteries. And our last accessory is another remote. This is actually like a mouse slash cursor kind of thing for your TV. I did my research on it and it was said to work pretty smoothly with the, I believe a quad core processor on this TV. And now it's me taking this TV out of my box, took off my hat because it's pretty difficult and didn't take out the stand. So this right here, I'm showing you exactly how it came in the box. This is actually uh, this, the piece right before the stand that connects to the TV. And I'll show you the stand, um, I believe, later in the video once I take the TV out. So here's me taking the TV out. And yeah, I should have probably got a friend or someone else to help me because that could have slipped out of my hands pretty fast. And uh, I'm just peeling off the plastic. And like I said, this came, I never opened this before, it came exactly like this. It just was delivered. And I'm going to show you the screen. Now there are smudges on the screen, but there weren't any physical scratches or any visible visible uh, scratches that you would be able to see on the TV. Yep. And this is the stand that came with it as well. It's a pretty nice stand. I'm not going to use it because I'm going to show you the wall mount. And I'm going to remove my little puny 32 inch that you can see right here off the wall and off the wall mount. Now this was mounted with a Another product for Amazon is actually a swivel tilt uh, wall mount for your TV. It's pretty good. And yes, that's my iPad. Now all we have to do is take off these wall mount brackets and transfer these over to our new 50 inch TV. And um, just make sure that when you're doing this, you have uh, screws that are um, properly inserted. Mine were actually too long, so I had to add multiple washers to these brackets before I mounted the TV. Here I'm just making sure that I screw these in properly and making sure that my TV won't collapse. And again, when doing this, you should have another person alongside with you, but these new TVs are pretty light, so I was able to pick it up and put it up myself. Um, but it does help when you have someone else. And right now I'm just tightening the back screws so my TV doesn't somehow slide off the mount. And I'm making sure that both sides are good. Just be careful, make sure that it is truly mounted properly and make sure all your bolts and everything is as tight as it can be so that it doesn't you don't have to worry about it falling over. And plug in the power and for the moment of truth, yes, the TV turns on. I should probably check this before I take out the box. But everything looks good, and I'm giving Amazon a thumbs up for this used item. Thanks for watching, guys.